Jenny wants to know, what is the difference between short, medium, and long cage rear derailleurs? How do I know which one I need? Derailleur cages are there to take up excess slack in the chain when shifting into different gears. Most manufacturers offer rear derailleurs in three different cage lengths, short, medium, and long. The most simple and straightforward way to think about cage length is as follows. The wider range of gears you have, the larger the cage you'll need. For those unsure about what range is, range is the difference between your biggest and smallest cog. A wide range is typically defined as any cassette with more than 32 teeth or any road or mountain triple crankset. To use an example, if you have a triple crankset or a cassette with a large cog bigger than 32, you'll need a medium or long cage rear derailleur to take up the extra slack between your biggest and smallest gears. Conversely, any road bike using a double crankset or a cassette with 28 teeth or less will utilize a short cage rear derailleur. Here are some general rules to follow. If you're riding a mountain bike or run a 3 by road crank, you'll need a medium or long cage rear derailleur, which Shimano calls SGS, and SRAM simply denotes in their product title. Road bikes with 2 by crank sets use short cage rear derailleurs, which Shimano calls GS models, and SRAM again denotes in the title. Finally, many brands have medium cage options on their rear derailleurs that are typically used for in-between road drivetrains and mountain drivetrains ranging from 28 to 36 teeth. Cyclocross bikes and many gravel grinder builds are prime examples of when to use a medium cage rear derailleur. If you're in between the capacity ranges of the two, which is often the case with mountain bikes, consider the following. Long cage derailleurs will accommodate a wider gear range and deliver a better chain line, while medium cage derailleurs are less likely to hit rocks on the trail. Though wide range cassettes are becoming the new standard, if you can use a medium cage derailleur without exceeding its tooth capacity, then we'd recommend going that route. If you're truly unsure about which derailleur you need to purchase, you'll need to know how many teeth are on your largest cog of your cassette. If you can't find any markings on the cassette, there's nothing wrong with simply counting the teeth. From there, simply cruise onto artcyclery.com and check our product description to make sure the derailleur you want to buy will fit the cassette you already have. Make sure and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss next week's Ask a Mechanic. Thanks for watching. If you want your question answered on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to content at artcyclery.com.